Hello friends, today we will be discussing about hot pressed oils and cold pressed oils. What is the difference between this? What are the pros and cons? Where should you prefer a hot pressed oil? Where should you prefer a cold pressed oil? There is a lot of controversy regarding to this. The final say is yours. Whichever oil you want to use, you may use. People tend to get very violent whenever this topic is discussed and people who are proponents of hot pressed or cold pressed oil, especially the cold pressed oil people, they tend to get very agitative and start commenting earlier my videos on this topic or similar topics have met with these sort of comments. So I would like to discuss that my perspective and the points behind this final decision is yours, whichever oil you want to use, you may feel free to use. First of all, hot pressed oil means a chemically extracted oil in which the oil seeds are roasted at high temperature, then the oils are pressed using heavy machines and then the oil is chemically extracted and then it is used. The advantage of this is that it does not contain any bacteria or toxins because of the use of chemicals. It has a higher yield because the same amount of nuts you can use large amount of chemicals and extraction machines to get more amount of oils from these nuts. The, because of this higher yield, considering the amount of uh, nuts you are using, the uh, cost will be on the lower side. It has a neutral flavor. Uh, the neutral flavor means that because it does not have a huge amount of aroma, with this, it can be used for multiple amount of cuisines uh, where people want a neutral taste. They do not want a very strong oil related aroma coming from the food, uh, especially for deep frying and baking and other purposes. So these oils can be preferred in these circumstances where for multiple cuisines, we have to get a neutral taste and it has a longer shelf life, which is much more advantageous in our scenario because people want uh, an oil which can be kept in our homes for a prolonged period of time without getting sour or rancid or uh, uh, not usable. So that is economically beneficial also for the people that it has, has a longer shelf life. The disadvantage of this is that it has a higher amount of nutrient loss because all this chemical extraction and process leads to the loss of the natural properties of the oil and vitamins and uh, antioxidants uh, whichever are present in the natural oils get lost. But usually as far as possible what I feel that uh, we do not take usually oil in terms of the benefit which they provide or the fat soluble vitamins or some antioxidant which they provide. The dictum is to take as less amount of oil as possible. Use oil for the purpose for which you are using. Do not use it for any advantage because the amount of fat soluble vitamins and antioxidants available in the oils will be minimal. The fat content will be huge. So at the end of the day, you will be at a loss if at all you are taking it for a beneficial purpose. Keep it as less as possible. Uh, the other disadvantage of refined oils or hot pressed oils is that it has a lower quality in terms of uh, usage of chemicals. It has chemical residues because the chemicals are used in extraction. These chemicals might be uh, detrimental for the patient and it is not very suitable for raw consumption when people want to directly use it into salads or uh, because of direct usage in food products. People do not want to use it directly because it is not good for health and the uh, health benefits are not there. The examples are canola oil, soybean oil and Sun, uh, sunflower oil which are hot pressed oils. Cold pressed oil means that you directly crush the cells without heating or roasting the soils, uh, the seeds and you are not using any chemicals for the extraction. Cold pressed oils ensures that the oil is not contaminated, uh, it is not exposed to any harmful toxins or compounds but on the other side the microbes might be present so it will have a shorter duration of health, shelf life, it get, will get spoiled very early. It, it, the advantage is that it retains the nutrients that is why it has a higher neutrophic value and has ox, antioxidant and uh, fat soluble vitamins are also there because it is not subjected to any heat or any extraction process. It has a better quality uh, because it is has a much better aroma and much better flavor rich flavor as compared to the refined oils and the hot pressed oil because the chemicals are not used in this and it is ideal for raw consumption wherever you want to directly uh, use it for sauteing or you want to directly use it for bake, uh, for cooking purposes or directly want to add it to salads and all as dips for, for dressings. It is ideal because it has a higher nutrific value and lesser toxins are present. The disadvantage is that it has a lower yield so it is much more costlier. The same amount of nuts which are used for hot pressed oil, the amount of oil which is extracted in a cold press technique will be much lesser so the cost will be higher. It has a shorter shelf life so it will get worse much earlier and it has a strong flavor which is not very suitable in whenever you are using it for baking and frying. So at the end of the day, which oil you should use for a particular purpose? If at all you are frying your food, you should ideally use a hot press oil because frying involves cooking the food at a very high temperature. Multiple uh, times the food might be pre uh, fried in the same oil. So it requires a oil which has a higher smoke point. Usually hot pressed oil are much more likely to have a higher smoke point as compared to uh, the cold pressed oils. These oils like 
canola oil, peanut oil, and sunflower oil are ideal for frying purposes. Similarly, for baking also, we tend to prefer hot press oils because we want a very neutral flavor. Otherwise, whenever you are baking any product in a cold pressed oil, there are high chances that a strong aroma or fragrance will come, which is not palatable and not suitable for the taste of most of the individuals. Vegetable oil, canola oil, and sunflower oil are the hot pressed oil which are used for this indication. For sauteing, we can use cold pressed oil because the, we, this provides us a very rich and nutritional uh, benefit and it uh, can be used in sorting because here we are not deep frying the food products. Uh, olive oil, avocado oil and sesame oil can be used for these purposes and similarly for dressing and dips where you are directly eating the oils and you are using it for dressing and salads. In these olive oil, coconut oil and flaxseed oils which are the cold press oils can be used as dressings for uh, salads and all where deep frying and other cooking is not being done. So uh, the final decision is yours, but hot pressed oils are usually better for cooking and frying purposes and baking purposes. Cold pressed oil can be preferred for direct consumption and salads and all. Usually they are not fit and not very suitable for frying because they have a high amount of smell also and lesser smoke point as compared to the hot pressed oils. The final decision is yours. Be, please don't be overwhelmed by the thought that this is our, our culture that we are using this sort of oil and it is one or two articles which are favoring this have written this try to have a very broad approach and decide on yourself which oil you want to use it's finally up to you whichever oil you prefer you can choose the people who are new to my channel i would request you to subscribe to my channel as this gives us a lot of inspiration and motivation to continue the channel in future the people who want to post any comments, queries and other issues pertaining to this channel or any patient related queries, you can write to us about them in the comment section below and we'll be happy to answer those questions. If at all you are not keen to see all the detailed video stuff which is available on my channel, we are regularly posting YouTube shorts in which one minute summary of most of the topics we are discussing with you. You can see those YouTube shorts in which we give you the salient features of most of the topic and we are also uploading these shorts on the Facebook and Instagram Reels. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram and we'll be uh, giving you all these help tips. You can share these tips with your friends, families and relatives and in all the social media group. If at all you are having a problem in finding the relevant content on which you want to see more topics and more videos upon, you can go to the specific playlist which is available on my channel. Depending on various topics, we have made several playlists. You can go to the individual playlist and there you can find a relevant topic. You click on the playlist and you get the relevant topics which are available on my channel pertaining to that uh, particular disease or that particular topic and your time will not be wasted and you will not be required to search amongst the various topics which are there on my channel.